Yo, dude, what are we gonna draw today? A lizard. A lizard. Cool. Hey, this is Rob at artforkidshub.com and I got my cool kid with me. Check us. Check us. How are you doing? Good. We're gonna draw a lizard today? Yeah. What kind of lizard? Like a gecko? Yeah. We're going to draw a gecko. What makes a gecko cool? It has spots. Yeah. It has designs on its back. It's a lizard. And it's got kind of cool fingers. What's so cool about its fingers? Um, kind of like frogs. Yeah, they look a little bit like frogs. They got little pads on their fingers so that they can climb up walls and, and uh, really cool things. Is that cool? Yeah. Pretty neat. Got your marker? Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be really simple. We're going to draw the we're going to draw the gecko or the lizard from the top view, and we're going to put his head up here, his body right here, and his tail is going to curl around. Really cool. Fun? Yeah. Okay. So for his head, we're going to make a leaf shape, but we're not going to connect it at here because that's going to be his neck. Good job, dude. Okay, now we're going to draw his arms that are coming out of his neck. And we're just going to do little curly lines that come out. Now we're going to run out. You, you might be a little close to the edge. I might be too. So the kids at home could maybe bring their head down a little bit more. All right. You ready for the next part? Yeah. Okay, we're going to draw his arms and finish drawing his arms. And it's just going to be a little curl, the other curl line, curly line that comes back into his body. Cool dude! Alright, let's draw his first hand. And we're going to draw, we're going to make it look really cool. His fingers are going to have little pads on them. So you come around like that. So it looks like there's a little light bulb. Or a little, pad, little thick part at the end of his finger. And how many fingers does he have? Five. Yeah, five. So Actually, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Like humans. That is a one big hand. <laughs> Looks like a clown hand. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. One, what are you doing? two, three. <laughs> Four, I forgot to curve around. Like go five. <laughs> That's awesome. This finger got smashed, I think. <laughs> he blew it up like a balloon. Awesome. And we can practice. We'll practice after the video. We'll draw it again. Because look at my hand. This hand's bigger than this hand. This hand's a little small. So we could practice so that they look more the same. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, let's draw his body. All right, we're gonna make him a little round body. His belly. Good job. And we're gonna do the same thing for his legs. So one line that comes out, kind of curls, and then another line that curls back in. Same thing over here, curl, and another line over here. So his legs. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing. You're going to run out of room a little bit for the tail, but that's okay. We'll practice. We'll keep practicing, and the kids at home should practice too, huh? Mm -hmm. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, I mean, five. <laughs> I love it, dude. <laughs> so we just practice. Dude, we're going to practice. That's all right. This is the first time you've drawn it, huh? Yeah. Sometimes the kids at home might think that you practice, or we try to draw this before, but you, this is the first time you've done it, huh? Just yeah. like them. So now we're going to draw the tail. So we're going to draw a line that comes out, and then it, it, watch me first. Watch me first. So, and then we curl around. Good job. 
And then this line is going to follow it, but it's going to get closer as it comes around. You mean really close for me. Yeah. <laughs> See how I'm getting closer as it gets towards the end? Good job. No, that is really awesome, dude. Okay, let's do, we're missing some ice. So let's draw an oval, one oval, two ovals, and then let's draw another oval inside, and then you can color those in, color the inside oval. And then leave a little light catcher, right? Mm -hmm. Leave a little light. Yeah, and then I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna draw. I think the kids at home they could draw any kind of patterns on their lizard or their gecko and make it look as cool as they want, and they can color it. I'm gonna draw some spots and some zigzag lines. Is that cool? Yeah. I'm gonna draw three spots on his back, and then three smaller, maybe a couple more spots down his tail, and then three spots on his head. And then I'm going to draw some spots that come down his arm. Spots down here, down his legs. And then zigzag. I'm going to do mix a, a zigzag line in there too. And then I'm going to put some spots on the side of his body like that. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, that is awesome. You did zigzag down his body. That's so cool. <laughs> Dude, look at that. Look at that. Is one cool looking lizard. <laughs> you still doing some more spots? You gonna do some on that one? Awesome! Oh, got his legs. <laughs> well, we hope the kids at home had fun with the lizard. Yeah? Yeah. If they did, they can leave comments down below our video on YouTube, or they can leave comments on our blog. Sound fun? Yeah. All right, should we say goodbye to our art friends? Yeah. See you later, art friends. See you all food. Goodbye. Ha 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 